Hi everyone, welcome to Dentacent. Today we are going to talk about age and functional changes in dentin, which can be an important short note for your theory exam. Now, as the changes are happening in the overlying enamel, now the function of protection is taken over by underlying dentin. Yes, now dentin will protect the pulp. How? There will be formation of more dentin on the inside of the pulp, which will form a barrier and will prevent anything to come inside and will protect the pulp. So this type of dentin formation is known as secondary dentin. Another change which is happening in the dentin is now these dentinal tubules they get completely filled with collagen fibers and mineral they get completely obliterated occluded and this type of dentin now is called sclerotic dentin so these two are the major changes which are happening in dentin with advancing age to meet the functional demands that is to protect the pulp by forming a physical barrier so we can say that age and functional changes of dentin are considered together but what about the pathological changes if there is some stimulus like if there is a case lesion in the particular area in the dentin so that is repaired by formation of reparative dentin so that is another age change now the dontoblast cells which themselves they lie in the pulp but their processes within the dentinal tubules now sometimes these pathological stimuli from outside can lead to damage of these odontoblastic processes and these empty dentinal tubules now get filled with air which appears as dark area in the ground section under microscope and these areas in dentin now called dead tracts so those are the four A changes which are happening in dentin. That is the topic for today's video. So let's start before starting. Quickly subscribe to Dental Zen and also give a like to this video as I keep making such interesting videos for you. So first is secondary dentin. It forms after the root completion and it is also called adventitious dentin. So primary dentin is the one which forms before root formation is complete and secondary dentin forms after that. So it forms where it forms. It forms at the border of the primary dentin and the pulp so it is forming as a narrow band as we can see here this blue area as a narrow band of the dentin where it borders the pulp now it is continuous with the primary dentin but it is more slowly formed and it has fewer tubules as compared to primary dentin now when we look at this primary and secondary dentin in microscope and in the ground section we can see a bend where these primary and secondary dentin meet so a bend is seen at their interface now this dentin is not uniformly formed that is in some areas it is more and in some areas it is less so it is more in the roof and the floor of the pulp chamber whereas it is less in other areas now why such thing is happening to protect the pulp from exposure so that is the functional lead and that is the age change so this type of asymmetrical reduction in the size and shape of the pulp chamber and the root canals is given a special name and this type of change is with age is called pulp recession pulp has reduced in size because dentinal tubules here are regularly formed so this type of secondary dentin is also called regular secondary dentin because there is something which is also called irregular secondary dentin which we'll get to know later in this video so what is the clinical significance as the pulp size is reducing so we have to be very careful when we are doing the root canal treatment in the older teeth because pulp has reduced so we have to be careful next is sclerotic dentin which is also called transparent dentin or translucent dentin because it appears transparent in the ground sections so it is seen as a defensive reaction in older people so it is also an age change so it here again the protection of pulp is happening how now the dentin permeability is reduced because dentinal tubules get filled with mineral so they reduce the permeability and they will prolong the pulp vitality so they will prevent anything to come inside the pulp so that is how they protect the pulp but this type of change can also happen due to some stimulus like caries which can also lead to these protective changes in existing dentin when these dentinal tubule gets completely occluded with collagen fibers and hydroxyapatite crystals so they get completely filled so what is happening because of which these dentinal tubules now this appear similar to the peritubular dentin the dentin which surrounds them so all these dentinal tubules now they get completely occluded and this entire area they have the refractive indices of all these dentin in this area are equalized and because of which this area appears as same that is this appears as transparent or glassy and that is why it is called transparent dentin that can be viva question because the refractive indices of dentin are equalized in all these occluded and dental tubules now it appears light in transmitted light and dark in reflected light this area so it has greater mineral density so it can be seen in radiograph but its hardness is varied that is the erotic dentin which forms as an age change 
it has more hardness compared to the one which is formed in response to caries but its elasticity is same as the primary dentine and its fracture toughness is reduced now most common area where it is seen is in the apical region apical third of the roots and in the crown it is the midway between the dentino enamel junction and the pulp surface that is somewhere here now what is the clinical significance that it have it can be used as a method of age estimation in forensic dentistry yes it can be used as a method for forensic dentistry that we'll discuss in oral pathology next is tertiary dentine which is forming in response to trauma in a localized area like in response to caries abrasion erosion so it in this odontoblastic process within the tubules they may get exposed or cut and the cell odontoblastic cell it may survive or it may die based on the intensity and duration of stimulus now if the cell survives it will produce new dentine here this type of dentin is called reactionary or regenerated dentin but what if cell dies so new cells will be formed by the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells of the pulp they will come there and now they will form the dentin and now this type of dentin is called reparative dentin so that is the difference so tertiary dentin can also be called reactive dentin response dentin or reparative dentin reparative dentin is considered the appropriate term so in this if we look at this dentin under histology it has fewer and twisted dentinal tubules compared to the primary dentine and sometimes these tubules are irregularly arranged so it is also called irregular dentine and sometimes these forming cells these odontoblast cells they get trapped inside the forming dentine and now it starts looking similar to bone as bone also has cells inside it so this type of dentine is called osteodentine which is usually seen in vitamin a deficiency so a combination of both can also be seen that is both tubular and osteodentine can be seen now what helps in the formation of this dentine are some factors like transforming growth factor beta helps in formation of tubular dentin and bone morphogenic proteins help in the formation of osteodentin now this type of dentin because it is irregularly formed so it is also called irregular secondary dentin now another difference of tertiary dentin from primary and secondary is that this dentin does not contain dentin phosphorin now talking about dead tracts so odontoblastic process dies and dentinal tubule now gets filled with air which appears as dark area so in the ground section dried ground sections another another thing that can happen is in caries attrition erosion again they can also lead to loss of odontoblastic process and this is most commonly seen in the narrow pulp horns in these area where the odontoblast cells are usually crowded and it appears as dark in transmitted light as we can see here and opposite that is light in white in the reflected light so dt dead track dark in transmitted light and white in the reflected light that can be fiber question now this leads to this type of dentine formation in that area leads to decreased sensitivity because now the odontoblastic process is not there and dentinal fluid is also reduced because dentinal fluid is required for the sensitivity as we discussed in theories of sensitivity so it leads to decreased sensitivity in such teeth so it is seen as greater in older teeth so it is considered an age change and it may be an initial step in the sclerotic dentine formation so now we have come to the summary of age and functional changes in dentine you can start writing your answer by describing what is aging meaning its meaning is quant it is a continuous detrimental and innate phenomena time related process keeps on going from birth to death as we discussed in the age changes in enamel and different theories of aging that is why it happens due to formation of free radicals which can damage the cell dna damage which is not repaired due to faulty genes and loss of telomeres on the chromosomes so these can be the theories of aging after that you can describe the four age changes that is secondary sclerotic dentine tertiary dentine and dead tracts so secondary dentine it forms as a narrow band between the dentine and the pulp so it protects the pulp against exposure then sclerotic dentine when the dentinal tubule gets completely obliterated by filling of mineral content again it's an age change to protect the pulp defensive reaction tertiary dentine in the localized area in response to some stimuli it is also called reparative dentine and dead tracts are formed because of the loss of the odontoblastic process in the dentinal tubule so those areas appear as dark areas in the ground section in microscope so those are the four age changes in dentine so let's check what have you learned so i am giving you diagram so you have to tell what a change is that in dentine first the a a diagram that is a band between the primary dentine and the pulp 
more on the floor and the roof of the pulp chamber so what is that called second age change which appears as transparent seen in the apical third and it is also known as transparent dentin third one which is seen in the localized region in response to stimuli as a repair process fourth one where the odontoblastic process dies and the dentinal tubule gets filled with air in the dry ground sections so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye